Hello everyone. So I went on a huge online shopping spree, uh, mostly because I was running out of products that I use day to day, but also because I wanted to try some new products. So I ordered from Lush, the Body Shop and Boots website. Here are the boxes. As you can see, I've brought a lot. Okay, so firstly I will start off with boots. I only got three items from there, um, but two I absolutely love and always get, and one of them I thought I'd try out, so. Okay, so I got the Dove Tanning Lotion. Now, I am someone who doesn't like fake tan. I know that it works for some people, but a holiday suits me just fine. Um, but I thought with it being in a lotion, it wouldn't be too bad. So this is the Derma Spa Summer Revived Body Lotion with self-tanning for a natural bronze glow. Like I said, I don't like fake tan. I like lotions, I like moisturizers, but tan, no. <laughs> and I got the medium to dark shade only because I did read on some websites that the light to medium doesn't really do anything. So I did want a little bit of a glow. So I thought this would be a good product to try out. Okay, so next up from Boots, I got two face masks. I got a lavender and a Sakura Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask. Now I do always get these, so I know that I'm good with these. These are the kind of masks that you want to use after you've exfoliated. Pop it on, keeps all that moisture in there. I love them. Okay, so next up we have Lush. Now, as you can see, I've ordered quite a bit. Now, I did used to work for Lush, so I'm very familiar with the products. However, some of these are new that I haven't tried. Okay, so onto products that I've already tried from Lush that I needed to top up of is the Grease Lightning Spot Treatment. During lockdown, my skin has not been the best and I think it's mostly because we can't go out. So it hasn't been seeing much of the sun, but I live by this. You put a little dollop on, it comes out a little bit like jelly. Put a little bit of this on the spot, it'll dry it up overnight. Love it, live by it go get it. Okay, so onto another product that I have already tried. It is the Teetotaler Naked Cleanser. Now, they have changed the size of this. It is massive. So before it came in like a little token, um, it lasts about a week to two weeks, depending on how often that you use it. This one, I feel, will last me a hell of a lot longer. It does melt on the skin, obviously, due to heat. So can't hold it for too long. Okay, so all that you do with this is literally just glide on the skin and the product will melt. You should actually double cleanse your skin. Now, what I mean by that is use two cleansers after you take your makeup off, just to make sure that you're back to a plain surface again. Now, the price did go up, obviously with it being a different size, it is much larger, so it will last you a hell of a lot longer. But um, I will list all the prices to the products down below. Yeah, I still can't believe that they've changed the size of this. Now, this product takes me back because this was the first ever product that I got from Lush. Um, and it was mostly because I saw Zoella mention it in a video. Now, like I said in my previous video in the 50 Facts About Me, Zoella was my go-to girl watching. Uh, but she showed me this. Now this is the Candy Bubble Bar. Now the difference between a bubble bar and a bath bomb is this one that you break up and you crumble under running water. So it gives you all the bubbles, a really nice color of the water and it smells amazing. You can actually get a couple of bath uses out of this. So I like to split mine in two, use one for one bath, save one for another. Or if you like a hell of a lot of bubbles then you can just crumble it all up in one. <laughs> this smells, <sighs> it's very sweet, it's very sweet. Oh, I can't stop smelling. <laughs> I love it. Love that one. Okay, so onto the new products that I haven't tried yet. This is the Rose Gold Bath Bomb. Now look how stunning that is. Wow. I'm obsessed. It's got more of a warmer scent this one has. So it smells like a mixture between the Sakura Bath Bomb and the Knockout Bubble Bar that they did. So it's got the sweet but also the spicy. I can't wait to try that one, not gonna lie. Mmm. Okay, so next up is the Turmeric Latte Bath Bomb. Now, as you can see, it does have a little bit of a shimmer, but fun fact, the glitter that Lush uses isn't actually real glitter. It is, in fact, reflective seaweed. Oh, it smells like a really warm, cozy evening. So obviously they are mostly vegan. I think they are actually all vegan now, I could be wrong. Oh, it smells so warming. Now, I know that we're coming into spring, but I cannot wait for a nice cozy evening using this bath bomb. I can't stop smelling. <laughs> Another little fun fact is these little packing peanuts you can actually eat because they're made from potato starch. Now, I'm not going to eat one, so don't expect me to, but you can. A little fun fact. Okay, so finally we are onto The Body Shop. Now, my friend actually works for The Body Shop and she's been kind enough to give me a discount code. So all you need to do is hop onto Facebook and search Find Your Glow with Amanda. She has given me code SOPHIE15 
And so if you wish to purchase anything with her, you will get 15% off all Body Shop products. Okay, so next up is the Carrot Cream Daily Moisturiser. Now, I haven't used this mostly because I use Celestial from Lush, but because I'm nearly running out of that one, I thought I'd try something new. So let's give this a smell. Try a little bit on the back of my hand. Ooh. It's got a very earthy smell, which I quite like. But yeah, this says that it is enriched with wonky carrots from the United Kingdom. Wonky carrots, eh? Quite like that one. By the time that this video goes up as well, I will have tried most of these products. So I will also leave that down in the description box below about how I got on with them. Okay, so next up from the body shop, we have a, another sheet mask. Now, I haven't tried this one. This one is the Vitamin C Glow Sheet Mask. Uh, after 15 minutes, grumpy skin feels hydrated, awakened and healthier. So I could do with this, especially with this lockdown. My skin has been feeling very dull. So yeah, looking forward to trying this. And finally from the body shop, I have purchased the banana shampoo and conditioner. Yes, they are only the small bottles, but because I'm testing it out, I don't really feel the need to get the bigger bottle if I don't like the product. However, I have heard really good reviews, especially for blonde hair or damaged ends. This is meant to really help to nourish the hair. Um, it does say here as well for normal to dry hair. I try not to use too many products on my hair. I only really use heat protectant when drying my hair or styling, which I very rarely do because we're in lockdown, so we can't really go anywhere. Um, or I use a tiny bit of hairspray if it is, I've styled it and I want it to be in a certain way. But yeah, looking forward to trying these. Let's have a little smell. Oh my God. <laughs> that, that, that smells like banana. It is in the name. That's so nice. The texture is quite thick as well. I don't know if you can see, so that's how you know it is gonna be really nourishing for the hair. Okay, so they are all the products. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.